Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Let's get started. Okay, so general money and career vibe for the beginning of the month. You might not really be feeling it. You might not be in that like, oh my gosh, I love my job. I love my current money situation a ton. Um, it doesn't mean that anything's bad. It just means you're not over the moon excited about it. In the middle, this is where things get a little bit weird. They're not um, the way that they typically are on a month-to-month -month basis in the middle of the month. Things might seem a little bit imbalanced. So what can we do to combat that? And they go, use your intuition. There will be signs for you provided to you. And everybody's ability to pick up on signs is going to be different. Some people get messages through numbers. Some um, clear audiently through songs that get stuck in their head and things like that, okay? Um, as far as towards the end of the month, what's going on? And they say... At the end of the month, there might be this sort of issue where maybe you're not um, fully caring for yourself, not enough self-care, not um, really spoiling yourself, buying yourself things that you want to do. And this is an important idea to go backwards to because you never know how this might benefit you in the long run. An example would be, I know that I'm not nearly as productive um, and I don't do as good of a job um, with handling things effectively and as perfectly as possible if I don't get a full night's rest. If I try to get up early to handle things, that first hour or two feels super productive, but the quality of my work isn't always as good. So that would just be an example of what I'm talking about here. Um, sometimes those sparks and moments of brilliance come from taking the time out to really put yourself first. So switching gears to a different deck here, your overall money theme or lesson for the month um, is not about having other people help you, but it's more about humility. And it says you have developed the loving awareness that you need everyone else, um, or I'm sorry, that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. So this is that idea that, okay, I'm not better or worse than somebody because I'm not as far along in my career, or I'm not better or worse than somebody because of my economic state or position and I actually don't need anybody else to sort of help me with that mindset or to advance along the path. I can be completely responsible for my own trajectory, okay? Now potential new income sources coming in this month, they're saying that would come through either starting a new business or finding a different job or an actual move, okay? Um, it's not going to otherwise probably just show up in the form of gifts or something. Um, which is strange because this is a birthday month for you. Uh, opportunities that you should be considering, and they say whatever you feel deeply about. So perhaps you pick up a new hobby, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. Maybe that's where you want to go as far as um, a new potential business idea. I just tried axe throwing, and oh my gosh, I love it so much. I want to set up some sort of a club or classes on this, you know, something like that. It doesn't have to be that. I'm not necessarily picking up on axe throwing for all of you, but that's just an example. Um, actions that you should take in order to advance your career. And they say, really, there's not any action to take. There's more of an action not to take. It's not to overthink it. It's not to go too deep within and try to figure all of this stuff out. Because what's going to happen if you do that this month is you're going to go, um, and this isn't that different, actually, from the Virgo general reading, where there's a potential... Um, there's added potential this month for you to overthink things and become self-critical. Virgos at their best, super awesome and efficient, really organized. They want to do everything right. And so other people really appreciate that, right? Um, but you can often be cruel to yourself and very overly critical. And that's kind of a theme for you this month in regards to possible advancement of your career. If you think too hard about it, you might start to beat yourself up. And that's not actually going to keep you on the path you need to go in order to manifest the things that you want into your life. Because only when we're vibrating at this energy of, or of love and above is when we suck in all the things that we hope to have. Um, so what's right about your current career path? 
you can find success in it. What's wrong with your current career path this month? And they're like, you know, the fact that things seem like they're taking a long time to get handled, um, to grow, to progress, and that's sucking the love out of it for you. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, let's say you're going to build your own website for your business and you don't want to launch it until it's perfect. Well, the thing is, is nothing in life is ever going to be 100% perfect. Therefore, you will never, ever, ever be able to achieve the goals that you want if you're going to make sure that everything is perfect, right? And so they're saying sometimes good enough is good enough and that's going to help you. They say you have to be really honest with yourself about that and then that's how you might um, push yourself down the road you want to go. Now, if you're not starting your own business, it's still the same sort of energy where it's like, okay, um, I've been working on this report. I can just submit it now. I don't need to keep going over it and over it and over it until it's 100% perfect, like, this is pretty perfect, this is close enough, it's not going to get better than this. We sometimes have this um, sort of expectation, we sit down, okay, I'm going to make a business card, or I'm going to edit this photo, and, you know, the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, super productive, um, you know, and then we get working on those tiny little details and we get stuck in them. And then, you know, five hours has passed and it's still not done. And it's like that first little bit of time, that first 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hour was the most productive. And we're really not making that big of a difference or a gain um, in that next, you know, five and a half hour span. And so that's what they're thinking about. You have to decide when something's good enough and then move on to the next thing, because that's um, the only way we're not going to get down on ourselves and feel bad. This is how we're going to feel happiest about our career and money situation um, in the month of September. So that's September. I love you so much, and I'll see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.